going on? How y'all doing? So I heard that Easy Meal with Eminem diss track, and it came out on the 50th anniversary of hip hop they celebrate in New York. And so Eminem decides to go after Melly Mel, this pathetic white boy, and them sorry sellout rappers that condone and support him. See, for people who are always thinking, yes, I do promote pro-blackness, but I also go after black folk. I go after black folk who support racist trash like Eminem. You know, I'm sorry. Yes, the cat can spit, but there ain't much to him. There's nothing special about him. He tried to say in the song, Top 5, because he's white and he's crying because his white skin, he thinks he should be number one. He's delusional as you know what, okay? His subject matter lacks. He's never showed me a lot of depth. He got the audacity to call Melly Mel with steroids. And allegedly, our folks thought that about Dr. Dre. Okay. See, Eminem done always gone after folk. And he don't like it when folks, certain people come after him. I'm not going to lie. As a Michael Jackson fan, I was so glad when Michael Jackson bought his catalog and pulled that Pauly, won't pull that pull that Pauly from Goodfellas and could set the building on fire because he owned him. I loved it. That's how you clap back on white trash like Eminem. He can't hold Melly Mel's gold chain, okay? He ain't never going to come up with a song that's going to touch the message. He's got some decent tracks in his catalog, but he ain't got a song that's seeing the message. And see, Melly Mel was talking about somebody paying some real dues, not some token dues. Okay? The Melly, uh, Eminem is kind of like Donald Trump. He's pompous. He's arrogant. He used black culture. He didn't gotten over. It's time people set that turkey straight. You know, I always would have wanted Eminem to talk reckless and crazy to Nas. That's what I would have wanted. You know he wouldn't want none of that. Okay. You know, it ain't even close. And no, he can't see Nas. And there's a reason why Nas was ranked ahead of him. Just keeping 100. But yeah, you see his white privilege where he think he can come out and drop this right on the 50th anniversary, right on there on the time. If he had respect for Melly Mel, he would politely bow down and say, yo, you know, you might not be feeling me. I'm not going to say this not true to what you say because I'm a guest in this house for your skin. However, I'm not going to I'm not going to play that game. But no, being the chump he is, doing what he do, he comes with some wax song trying to come after Melly Mel. The sad part is that a lot of these black entertainers and people in this business are so bought and sold and bought out and sold out They'll sit there and vouch for him and them because that's their meal ticket because they didn't sold themselves out. Their soul has been sold out. You don't have hardly nobody black going to come out and tell you Melly Mel was right. When Eminem went after Michael Jackson, the only person who stood there and called him out on his work besides Michael Jackson was Stevie Wonder. See? Because they scared this white boy. They let this white boy, like I said, he's Trump-like. I let this turkey blow his head up. Now, I know Nick Cannon went after him, but, you know, nobody takes Nick Cannon serious, except Nick's hustle is serious. But I applaud anybody that goes after him, and that's why I give Lord Jamar his due on that. Because Eminem is overrated. And it ain't just because of skin. He just, he ain't, he just ain't that memorable to me. And he gonna talk about uh, cats playing in clubs, most rappers at a certain point play in clubs. So that back for what he be trying to spit on folks, he can't. Sometimes you got to know when to stop and shut up and just bow down, especially if you so-called respect your elders, if you respect the ones who paved the way. Because him going after Melly Mel was a tacky turkey move. Melly Mel got every right to go after him because he had to pay dues. Okay. Eminem ain't paid no dues like Melly Mel did. Mm-mm. But who are going to be the black entertainers that people going to come out 
and call Eminem out on his white privilege. Who going to do it? Because there's too many mouths that are happy at the table to eat, get fed, and roll over and look the other way. But then again, they do that every day in the business. That's why they let white folks run them and pimp them and run them like slaves in that industry. Ain't nobody saying nothing, ain't doing nothing. They're too happy for the massa. And then let Eminem do his thing. Please like, subscribe, work on thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch your front of the shit if you like. And I'm out. Peace.